We are delighted to be joined here today on younghotelier.com with our front office manager of the new Western Dubai, Mina Siani, Matt Griffiths. And Matt is not allowed to pass on any questions today. Please note at the onset. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for taking the time to join us, Matt. Um, you're I suppose initially we want to talk a little bit about your role as the front office manager. And I'd love to learn as to what you did initially when you left school and how you've gotten and arrived to this position here in Dubai as the front office manager of the Western. Mm -hmm. So my role here, yes, is the front office manager. Okay. Um, to get here, I started working in hotels about 12 years ago. Okay. Um, started working in banquets as a waiter. Where um, was that? Uh, that was on the Gold Coast. Okay. Uh, it was actually a Marriott hotel. And I uh, lasted there for about a year and then moved back home for a little while and then moved back to the Gold Coast. Okay. Started working at my very first Sheraton hotel, okay. uh, once again in banquets. Um, worked my way up through the banquets chain of command. Mm -hmm. um, then actually got headhunted by the front office manager to come and work in front office. This was after about two years of working in banquets. Okay. Got in the same property? Same, same hotel. Okay. Yep. Um, moved up to front office and was working there for about nine months um, and then got the travel bug and decided to move over to the UK. Right. And uh, went to London for two and a half years. With who? Sheraton as well. Still Starwood. Uh, right. I've been a Starwood boy for ten years now. Um, this Did is you get a medal for that yet? No, or? no, nothing yet. <laughs> um, this Please is actually <laughs> this is my fifth Starwood hotel now. Okay. Actually, the Western will be my sixth. Excellent. So yeah. Oh. Um, so London for two and a half years. Worked my way up through the ranks again. Front office um, again. Yep. And then went back home. Right. Uh, had my first Western experience in Sydney. Still front office. Uh, Sydney for a few years right. and then I uh, was lucky enough to transfer to Melbourne um, where I got the position as front office manager at the Western Melbourne. Very so good. that was my second Western hotel. Okay. Uh, and then there for just on two years and then fortunate enough to find out about the opportunity over here in Dubai. Um, first of all here at the Le Meridian Minisiahi and then of course at the Western soon to open. Um, and so here I am now eagerly Waiting for the uh, arrival of the Western, so... As we all are. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Very good. So, I suppose you hadn't done any hospitality school or training? No, no. Um, virtually straight out of school and, okay. um, yeah, just moved up to the Gold Coast, which back then was very famous in Australia for being very hospitality-oriented. Okay. And, uh, it was especially within Australia, very tourist-driven. Uh, so for someone straight out of school, and having lived on the Gold Coast before with my family, okay. um, just went back up there and sort of fell into hospitality. 12 years ago, you didn't really need any well, formal education. Well, I was going to say, yeah, or, was it something that you fell into or something yeah, you'd always wanted basically, to Basically, no. I mean, like okay. I said, straight out of school and didn't really know what I was going to do. Um, right. My father actually... Now that I look back, my father actually worked in hotels as well, and he had owned his own restaurants and things like that. Okay. And then same with my mum. She had done, uh, in some line, worked in Sheeran's coffee shops and things like that. So, okay. so in some capacity, service, there is a... Yeah, serving exactly. So I think at the time I didn't realise it, but I was sort of almost destined for it, I guess you could say. No know. way out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you work, like, in your parents, between your father's shops and mum's coffee? Not really, no. No? No. Okay. Not, not at all. Um, part-time jobs growing up? I had a, had a lot of part-time jobs. Okay. Uh, I was everything from an apprentice mechanic to an apprentice butcher to, um, wow, all sorts of things. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, yeah, just sort of, that was throughout school and, and just after school and then, yeah, moved up to the Gold Coast. Okay. Mm. Tell me, why, um, like, front office, why? Um, I really love it. I love the guest interaction. Okay. Um, previously, having worked in corporate hotels, um, it's very much a different kind of guest interaction. Obviously, our corporate guests, they like to, you know, everything to be very prompt and very precise and very accurate. Mm -hmm. um, they might only be here for a day or two and then, you know, you hardly ever see them in the hotel. Um, I love it here now working in, this is my second resort after the first one I worked at on the Gold Coast, but this is my first resort where I truly now have a grounding in hospitality and I know what it's all about and I know how the hotels operate. So I love the interaction with the guests. Okay. Uh, you know, we have people here staying for seven days, 14 days, 21 days, you know, plus. And you see them all day, every day, especially the ones that are on vacation here. You know, they'll come and ask. They might see you 10 times throughout the day. 
um, just little questions and just advice and things like that. So that's that's the part of it I, I definitely love. I love that guest interaction. Okay. I'm certainly a, a people person. I love being out there and mixing. I've heard otherwise, Matt. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so that's definitely you know, that's that's the part that I really enjoy. Okay. okay. Um, I, I also love F and B. Actually, I'm. But I was going to say, bank, like, what was it in banqueting that drew you initially to that? Ah. Uh, I think they were probably the only people that would take me, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no cross-training and banqueting I'll take in the West End. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, f- fresh out of school and right, yeah, okay. obviously just had the right attitude and, you know. So, you um, need to be, a, I think, a good grafter, as they say, you know, and they're pretty active, I think. And yeah, yeah. When you're directly out of school, it's often a good place, yeah. a grounding for people to start. I really enjoyed banquets back then as well because it is so different and you do have to think really quick and On just react. And, mm. yeah, mm. Um, you know, things change all the time, whether it be you know, a wedding you're doing or a lunch or a, or a conference or, mm. or anything, a meeting. So you really have to sort of think quick as well. Do you think you'll stay front office? Or? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I love F and B. Uh, I love to cook at home, and I'm okay. right into my wines and things like that. So I love the F and B side of it, but I think I prefer to keep that away from work. Like okay. I love to go out to dinner and things like that. I think if I actually worked in F and B again, it might not put me off, but you know, I might not enjoy it as much. As and, much as you yeah, do. Yeah. You had said you because I think you're fortunate that you've had experience with corporate hotels, and now, as you said, more of a resort. Do you yeah. think it's important for people to have the experience in both? Or uh, definitely. Yeah, okay. especially here for us at MENA. I mean, we've got Internet and Media City right across the road, so mm-hmm. we get a fair mix of corporate clients here as well. Do you find the requirements different? Oh, it's completely. Okay, yeah. like, like what? Uh, like I said, you know, check in. They don't want to know about the local area and, you know, they don't want to know about the majority of the facilities. They're basically here. They might be here for a couple of days just to do some work, um, mm-hmm. and that's it, you know. Okay. They're up at 6.30 in the morning, they have their breakfast, and they're gone by 7. Whereas, you know, obviously a leisure guest, they mm-hmm. stroll out of bed at 9 o'clock and mm. stroll down to breakfast and they take their Eat time. too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, completely different, completely okay. different. Well, it's good to have, I think. Definitely good to have that mix, for okay. sure, for sure. What about, um, I suppose, like I find you, there's probably a couple of very good lessons that you've learned, often hard lessons. Mm-hmm. Like, is there anyone that sticks in your mind that you thought, wow, you know, I'll remember that for the rest of my life, having been a lesson that you learned in the industry that someone has taught? Um, there's definitely a lot of lessons that you do learn. I mean, okay. daily, I mean, now that I'm a front office manager, it doesn't mean that I've finished learning. I mean, mm-hmm. even with, with guest interaction, um, probably some of the best lessons I've learned have been when I've been overseas, uh, when I first moved to London. Okay. Um, some cultural lessons that you learn, mm-hmm. um, you know, whether it be the way you speak to someone or the words that you use, things like that, they're sometimes the biggest barriers. And particularly here in Dubai, um, you know, we mm-hmm. have a lot of, we definitely have a lot of English guests, which is fine, no problem, but, uh, you know, a lot of German and a lot of Russian and a lot of uh, local guests as well. So um, some of the biggest lessons I've definitely learned there is what to say, how to approach people, things like that. It, whether it be in a conflict situation where they might be complaining about something or whether you have to go and inform them of something that they can or can't do here in the hotel, that's definitely, um, yeah, the, the cultural barriers that you need to cross and the language barriers as well, some of the biggest lessons that you learn. Travelling probably helps that, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. you know, to enhance yeah. Yeah. the experience. Yeah. And like I said, they're lessons that you learn every day. Like mm-hmm. there's still not a day goes by where, you know, you have to, you, you're continually learning. Good, good. Mm. Can you tell me, I suppose, where you would see yourself now in say five years time ideally do you think um, going down the front office road as to where your next step will be? Um, I hope within five years that I'll be close to being a general manager. Okay. Uh, this is you know, my third year now of being a front office manager. I would right. hope you know sometime in the near future work up to say director of rooms and then you know within five years I would hope to be a general manager or an executive assistant manager of a property somewhere. Um, where I don't know, I'm very, very flexible, you know. I'm Do you happy. think sticking with the company enhances your career growth, your career path? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is now my third brand. I've worked in Sheraton, Luxury Collection. Actually, the Meridian will be my fourth brand. Western okay. and the Meridian. Mm-hmm. So that's four of the brands that I've covered so far. I definitely think it helps your progression, um, you know, sort of fast track your career because you know, they see you have all of this knowledge, you know, all of this Starwood training and all of these systems, I think, as well. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know, that you become yep. quite accustomed to. Yeah, and all the training you've received as well, you know, whether it be about SPG or, you know, all sorts of, you know, even the, the performance things like the, the HR things, like yes. the 360 and the star voice and things like that. Okay. These are all things that, you know, obviously they just transfer to any Starwood property around the world.